Hey everybody, we're back. Who do you like TV? We got a great show tonight. Um, we got Musto here tonight. We got Tyler and we got Paul. We're going to be talking about a great um, show that's going to be on Staten Island. It's a, uh, it's a car show and Tyler here. Hi Tyler. What's going on everybody? He's bringing it to the table. He's, uh, he's, he does benefits. The name of his um, um, thing is uh, Rare Breed Legacy. And he's bringing it out so, you know, people could see that anybody wants to do a benefit for this, that, or the other. Right, uh, Tyler? Yeah, Rare Breed Legacies. So now tell us, all right, yeah, Paul, well, you're, you're working with him yeah, too, right? Yeah, pretty much with worked hand-in-hand hand with him ever since uh, this whole creation came to a being. Pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis, he would have an idea, he would jump to me with it, and we would elaborate on the idea. We would talk about it, expand on it, and just try to make his vision come true, and so far it... Everything's coming together. It's just amazing. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of work, though, right, Tyler? Yeah, let me tell you a little. So it all starts with this guy right here, Randy. Randy. This is my brother. My brother passed away in 2016, in January, and uh, he crashed on his motorcycle. And we used to always talk together. We would always talk about ideas, inventions, businesses, things that we could do that you know we would love to do and just be able to live and, and have a good life on our terms. And uh, after he passed away... I was going through a little rough patch. I, I stopped going to college, but I started working, so I substituted it. And uh, I was still, the, the ideas were just rushing, rushing through. And uh, I came up with, with Rare Breed Legacies in the funniest way. So we used to always tell each other, you know, it's all about the legacy. You know, we gotta have this crazy legacy. And I was like, yeah, man, because we're, we're different. We're rare, we're a rare breed. Rare breed, and, I like that and, name. And this was always in the background, you know. We never, it was never for that to be the name of something. Yeah. And uh, so I'm going through, and, and I started off with this uh, this clothing line called uh, Rags and Riches. Ah, rags to Riches. Yeah, it was a funny idea. It was yeah, gonna, yeah. I'm into silver and gems and, and buying all this, this yeah, yeah. Uh, precious metals, all, all these different, different things. things. Yeah. So uh, what I wanted to do was, you know, you buy a shirt, you actually get some value with it. Right, right? yeah. But People it, it, it wasn't that. ethical. It wasn't ethical. I didn't have the money to buy a, a vault of, of silvers and all, all this other stuff. But anyway... Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you know what? I love car shows. Everyone loves car. People love car shows. Yeah, People love food true. trucks. People love music. Right. And, and if we bring this together, we create one large vibe. Like, you know, they're out there. Right. So it's not like something that hasn't been going on. Yeah. But we, we got to add a twist to it. So I, I decided, you know what? We're going to direct it towards high schools. And it's going to be events at high schools across the country. And... uh. Every event is gonna have food trucks, live bands, live DJ, giveaways, raffles, things that really attract you to come in. You're not just paying to come see something that you don't get out of it. You're getting an experience, you're having good vibes. You're, you're leaving with something. Right. Because you, you know, you're leaving with a memory that is yeah, like yeah. no other. Well, yeah, so you're giving them, actually what you're doing is you're trying to give them, like you're saying, rare breed because you're giving them things that uh, they want like you know, like the the music, the old yeah. the old music that they used to listen yeah. to. Classic rock. Classic uh, rock, right? So now for this event that we're having September twenty fourth in particular, none of the money is going to be made towards me towards Rare Breed Legacies. It's it's all being donated. Right. So who who are some of the uh, people that you're donating to? So a big thing was Semper Fi, the Marine Corps League, and okay, it's Marine for the Corps. veterans. And Stephen Siller's Tunnel for Towers. And okay. I was going to be donating to NYPD, but with the, what's going on in Texas, I, I decided, yeah. you know, I think I think they can hold off and we're going to have another event. Right. We'll, we'll be able to get them back in the future, but Texas needs help. Yeah. So we're going to be donating to Texas. Oh, that's uh, great. Yeah. It's Harvey, man. That's crazy what's going on out yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's pretty sad, boy. You know, because, I mean... You're helpless. Like what happened to us with and Sandy. Sandy. And I'm getting, right? I was in it. I was in New York. Yeah. I was in New Sandy, York when right? it was that happening. Was, yeah. And uh, it was honestly, it was terrifying. Yeah. And I was with my grandparents, and God bless them. They, we all got out there safe. And right, right. It's unfortunate for anyone, you know, that lost, we, uh, tons of people lost everything. And seeing what's going on out there just brings back these, these memories. And yeah. And we got to do something about it. So, how did you get, so you were always into cars, like cars? Always. And stuff? So. What when kind of what born, kind of cars? What was your favorite? Uh, when I was born, funny thing. When I was born, my dad bought a 1970 Cutlass 442, and he rebuilt it, and it's still in the garage today. It still gets worked on. We work on it together, 
I wash it all the time. I love that car. And that's my dream car. 442, right. yeah. And uh, I'm a classic guy. I'm a classic Quick. car guy. Yeah. But I grew up in the in this this new evolution, this this new lifestyle of these exotic cars like the Lamborghinis and then right. you got uh, Nissan GTRs. Yeah. So what I'm doing is we're bringing it all together. Classic muscle, new school muscle, imports, exotics, and we're going to do competitive, non-competitive. We're going to have trophies and it's going to yeah. be awesome. It's going to be a great, great time. Judges. Judges and everything, right? Yeah. So this event, all right, this event, where is it located on Staten Island? Uh, Father Capadano Father Cap and Lincoln Boulevard. Lincoln Boulevard. Lincoln Boulevard. No, 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 I'm sorry. Lincoln Avenue and Father Capadano Boulevard. Right, and so what, what are they going to have there now? They're going to have... So we're going to have... When you come in, it's going to be great. Everyone's going to you be Now, you're, you're getting all of this, or is it other, other people um, bringing things to the table? No, I mean, it's, it's, I got yeah. a lot of friends and family that are helping out. Okay. But uh, for the most part... When we don't really have sponsors like that. We're just we're just doing this right now, just throwing Spons ourselves yeah, out there on yeah. the table. Is anybody helping you with it? Besides, um, so Rabs Country Lanes donated. They donated gift cards. Okay. Um, Fridays Outback, Angelina's Restaurant on Staten Island. Oh great! A lot of people, you know, they donate. Fridays actually, they offered to donate food, gift cards, and volunteer workers. Wow, and that was like the greatest thing. I was like, I was, I was amazed. You know, I, yeah. For them to reach out to us and, and to be able to offer that, what, huge what, thank what you more can I ask for? You know, Definitely yeah, that's, that's great. And, and uh, yeah. it's gonna be good. So, really, the whole the whole matter for this event is not for me to make anything, but for the people to know the name Rare Breed Legacies and what we want to bring to the table. And it's good vibes or get lost. There's nothing else about it. You know, we just yeah. want to have a good time. And spread the love. Yeah, yeah. Every event to event, we just want to spread the love. Right, right. So you gotta, you're gonna stay on Staten Island, or you're gonna go? Nah. To the so what I'm looking for this year is we're gonna start off in Staten Island here on Father Capitano. Right. Really, just to get the name out there, and then, you know, we're looking at schools like Patrides, and you know, maybe in Jersey. Right. In Florida, Florida. You know, we want to go everywhere. We want to go to the West Coast. We want to bring this this vibe of rare breed legacies everywhere. Okay. And uh. Let me tell you what Rare Breed Legacies is. Cause yeah, Rare, you would tell me. Yeah, yeah you would so, say it to me, right? So Rare Breed Legacies, it's not just an auto show. It's not just a benefit for nonprofits. Rare Breed Legacies is the people like all four of us sitting right here doing what we can do to, to help any way. You're helping me by getting me out here. Yeah. You know, I want to be out there helping raise money for these people. Right. Rare Breed is just my man right here. Pulls dogs. Pulls Dogs Food Truck on Staten Island. Uh -huh. Great place. Great yeah. place for some great food and some good vibes, good people. But every day, we got the hospital workers but coming now out. But he's benefiting to you? To you yeah. Not yet. Next year, he will. Because okay. we can't get the food trucks on the, uh, on the park land. With the with uh, how short staffed we are, we... I'm going to be helping him. I'm going to be playing a main okay. part in running the event. Well, so it's like... So unfortunately, you, we couldn't get that the truck out yeah. there this event, but definitely in the future, hopefully... Yeah. The Holy Dogs business could also expand with the whole rare breed legacy. Right. A Team lot rare of, breed. Big visions, big visions. Is everything's yeah. in the works right now. Musto, you got any um, questions about the... No, I just like, I like their, um, um, their enthusiasm, their, their drive, and, you know, anybody who has that should definitely pursue it, you know. Definitely can't and, give up. Um, follow your dreams, you know. The way I look at it is I feel like I'm living for two people. Cause my guy, you know, he should he should be right here with me. I mean, my life would be going a different route. I wouldn't couldn't say I'd be doing this right now if he was still here. Right, you know, you, it's you got, that yeah. happening that really gave me the yeah. drive. So you Thank were you. you were always um, you, like what made you think of like different things like this, you know, to do this. Yeah, you know, I've been I mean, working. Always wanted to, I, yeah, I've been working since I was fourteen years old and yeah. and having all these different jobs. Cause I always left for the better opportunity or if something wasn't working out, it's just I, I gotta go. I gotta go. And uh, having all these different jobs and, and meeting different people, right? It, just op it yeah. opened my eyes to so many different things and, and seeing how different businesses work, right? Uh, from food to working at an event, you know, doing an event, working wow. just just like uh, security or something, to yeah. to now trying to put one together myself. Well, that's a lot of people on Staten Island, you know, like that that want to be entrepreneurs like like you. It's interesting for them to hear this because they're probably thinking the same thing. Well, like you were you thinking what. ten years, yeah. ten, you know, five years ago. Ten years I mean, ago. when I was fourteen, I just wanted to be some guy that you know, right. I want the fast cars and right. good. But you weren't even thinking. It's about not it. even about that. Right. When you have a 
a, a dream, a vision. It's the little things yeah. to build up to that that yeah. really matter. And you have a a, a, f- a famous uh, guy that's in your family, right? The football player. Oh, oh, oh! Shout out to Robbie Anderson from the New York Anderson, Jets. Right? Yeah, he's he's doing good, you know. The Jets. He's one of the stars now. On the yeah, Jets. Who, who would ever thought last of that? Last year he was right? a rookie. Yeah, he's another you know? perfect example. Still a rookie to the game, but they said he got a lot faster. I'd say so. I'd say so. I mean, seeing him from Temple to now. Yeah, out running these guys on, on these posts. And look at that, right? He came. Now you talk about an entrepreneur. He listen. Look, started he, out right. You how, what? You knew him what, when he was what? Oh was well, it? I mean, we've been cousins all since he was born. Yeah, since right. I was born. Yeah, did he so. did he always talk about wanting to be? Uh, always wanted to be in the league. That was just his dream. The to NFL? be a, a so NFL, NFL really right? Isn't that something? And now he's in it. But look, it's like what you're saying about this. You know, you you, you dream. But you, you see him. You your dreams can't you, come you true, but you got to keep though. working at yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Because you hear me tell you, you know, he's in the league. He always wanted to be in the league. But if you don't know him, you don't know what he went through to get there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because his yep. his his road to where he's at now is difficult, and wow. his his opportunity to go to the NFL was taken from him. Yeah. And he put himself in the, in this position, but. He worked to get back there, and there wow. he is. And it's when you get knocked down, yeah. it's not about that moment. It's all about the comeback, because if you don't come back, you, you're just gonna stay stay nothing or go to less. Right. And you can't let that happen. Yeah. You can never let that happen. Look at Musto. He was on um, um, Major Show a year ago. Now, he you know they made what for how how long was that? Season? One year, one season. One season. A great season. Yeah. Because I was a fan. Yeah. So he yeah, made it to that level. Good. Yeah. But you can't He's stop. had about 13 million viewers. But then um, NBC, they started skipping the show for like a couple of weeks straight. And the, uh, the yeah. fans, they started getting, they were getting. That's what happens. They, were, they started getting pissed off. I'm never going to watch it again. So they actually destroyed it. Destro- and then, but who, um, who do you think for destroyed the finale, it? it only, we only had like six, uh, six million viewers. And because of that is why um, that uh, CBS decided to can't, uh, not to renew it. Yeah. Which Sounds to me they didn't keep up with the keys to success no, with they the didn't, consistency. Yeah. That could be one of them. And they, well, they say CBS is known for that, to cancel the good shows and keep the, not the ones keep that it, not, yeah. not as good. They didn't have enough. For some reason, they, they didn't have CBS. a good eye. CBS well, you wonder that. why, like even in any business, you wonder why things happen the way they do. But sometimes, look at, even they were saying, like in that uh, movie Jaws, right? They were saying, their production, they were gonna, they were gonna cancel that at the end. They didn't have yeah. enough money to get the, to rebuild the shark, because the shark broke down. Yeah. And they says, ah, this movie ain't gonna go anywhere anyway. Right, that's what they thought. Yeah. It's yeah. not they gonna go nowhere. The and there's a, what? Way before my time, here I am still watching Jaws. That's what I'm, what my, is, my little sisters yeah. and you know about and, that story? and they're scared to watch it. I know, but did you know? No, nah, I didn't know about that story. Blockbuster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that's still, that's still how you. It. Yeah. That's how much you don't know. That's why sometimes you gotta you gotta you gotta go to that. Yeah, that's honest, why I always like the. That's why I always liked the Rocky movie because it was like that. You know, the guy, no matter what, he just kept but fighting, he kept fighting, even he kept be- fighting. Even before how good the movie is, how Rocky actually became Rocky. What because do you mean, because yeah. Sylvester Stallone wrote it, right? Yeah. But he wanted to be in it. He wanted to be in it, right? And they said no. It's right. You think he would be desperate enough to say, "All right, I'll, I'll, I'll give it, up, give yeah. up my." No, but instead, he he works yeah. for the pennies. That's why you got to believe in yourself. And the or and anything. the two the two lead actors, Richard, what's his name? Richard? What was that shot? <laughs> on on uh, Joe. Who's that? Joe's Richard. What's his name? Oh, uh, Richard. The lead actor. Oh, Rich. Yeah, I know you're talking about uh, Brian. Richard who? Get no, Richard. No. Richie. <laughs> yeah, what was it. his name? Richard. He looked something. a little bit like a shark, right? The two lead actors. They were about to kill each other. They were fighting. Real? Oh, yeah. Fighting every day. Yeah. Get out. Yeah. Fighting. Oh See, my I God! Mean, about to kill each other. That's yeah. another reason why they almost they almost stopped filming it. Yeah. <laughs> and then, the and back then at the it now. shark. The sharks start, started malfunctioning, <laughs> malfunctioning. This was oh, that, this yeah, was, yeah, this yeah, was yeah, going yeah. on towards the They thought the movie wasn't going to make it anyway, so they, they just wanted to get apart. Between them fighting, the shark malfunctioning. It's crazy. 
plus the fact that they thought the movie was going to be a flop. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. It's going to be no good. Going into 2018, talking so about Jaws. Still, we're, we're still talking about Jaws. They started though. pushing yeah, it. You know, still talking about it. Yeah. They started pushing it. It was automated. Shark, the, the shark was yeah. automated, but then it, it malfunctioned wow. towards the end of the shoot. And they started manually. They started pushing this, this shark manually. Yeah, you got to wow. do what you got to do, though. By yeah. hand, yeah, cases. by hand, by hand. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, and then the movie became huge. Became a huge hit. Huge hit. But see, wow. uh, but I'm saying, you nobody in life huge. could see the future, of what you know. what I'm saying yeah. you could build a, a a name, a business, a this, a that, a show, whatever you want. You could say whatever you want, but the bottom line is, you really don't know how it's going to turn yeah, out, no, you know what I mean? You could just put out the energy and... and I'll tell you what, I'm hoping for the best. Things. Yeah, right. You know, that's but what, anything, can happen. anything yeah. can happen. Anything can happen. And look at, be, your, yeah. look at your... Look at your... Uh, uh, your, your uh, look at Moosh. Oh. Your, your, your What's uncle, up, Moosh? What's up, Moosh? You think I... You think... After he hit me and made me flip up in the air, you think I would have stopped playing that day? But no, I got <laughs> back on the yeah, field. Little did Moose know. I, yeah, let him know that <laughs> I, I'm not stopping. He's another yeah, rare breed right there. The Definitely have to expect, oh, he's expect a rare speed bumps, right. the hurdles. When you're raising money, it has, it, it, you know, it being for a good cause is very important. That's the thing. So and then I heard you say something about um, for um, NYPD. What what would justify that? I mean, why would NYPD and NYPD have a need for donations. Well, so my my father no, my father's on the force. He works in a uh, battery tunnel. Right, but that's and uh, I always aspired to be a police officer. Yeah. That's why I was going to college for criminal justice. But that's like that's more like self-serving. It's not because, I mean, it's not raising money for for a really for a real need, because, um, right. But that's a good. Way to listen. Yeah. See now you're opening my eyes right here. Yeah, but uh, it's I think it's important that you know when it comes to raising money, I think it's important. For it to Who be done for, it for, for? A, for, a, for a very good uh, cause. Yeah, I mean, very good as you say right there. My like brother's son is a cop also at yeah. one, at 121. He's actually, he just became a detective a couple of years ago. Good but uh, yeah, I have, uh, and then his brother is a fireman, but you know. Well, I think it was definitely a good but, idea uh, then to move that donation over to the, over. To that the, just goes to say, it was meant to be. Yeah. It was meant to be that way because they need it out there. And uh, I mean, if you are an officer and you knew that we were donating towards the NYPD, I think it's definitely understandable. Yeah, you see well, those it's funds go to Texas and Houston Relief Foundation. It's crazy because if we were in that situation, I would pray that they were doing the same thing for me. Oh, absolutely. we get it. You know, absolutely. Well, look at that, sure that time when they had the Sandy. Your uncle, Moose, called me up. He says, "Fred, you got a truck?" He says, "Come up on on the mall." He says, "They're gonna ship a lot of stuff." Um, in, uh, from New York and uh, you know like toothpaste and yeah, all that yeah. because they had nothing they lost everything on Staten Island you know on you know near South yeah. Beach there Middle and Beach they were they were they had nothing and uh, nobody you know they had no help from it so anyway guys like Moose and people that donated from New York that that donated everything if we didn't help them you know what I'm saying if we didn't I'll and then I, I went up there and I helped. Uh, I packed all the stuff and I break. I didn't even know who I was with. I'm just with random people in their houses that are half gone, and we're ripping it apart just trying to get anything that they can. They value anything out of there, and just you know yeah. the bond that we all made in that moment. It was like it was like something that you could <laughs> imagine how it is in Texas now, right? With yeah, a, no. a bond, everybody's in turmoil. Yeah. The houses are uh, so four, five to feet. the roof, to the roof with water. It's horrible. They're, they're making it. They're, they're, they're gonna they're gonna survive. Yeah. Well, we're definitely gonna try to help that Listen, cause too. You got yeah. New York's coming. We're coming to help the best we can too. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people that are are, are bringing their boats down there, right? They're bringing their, everything. I mean, supposed to show you America. That's that's what America stands for. You know, not all this other unity. Definitely, unity. everybody Garbage. coming together in a time yeah. of need. Yep. So everybody. anyway, so. Rare breed. So you're going to be down there, right? And uh, so is there, what, what are you going to have as far as entertainment? Did you, did you so we have out? five live bands. American Cover Story is one. Okay. Um, Eight Track, The Naked Jedi. And we have two more that I'm just still waiting to get some the work from. The Naked Jedi? Yeah, The Naked Jedi. Sounds interesting. Wow. Sounds interesting. You right? heard them? And you know what's funny? You heard them? 
I haven't. I haven't. They, they, I, I, I yeah, heard. Yeah, I, I heard of people hope they, from people who have heard them. Yeah. And you know they said oh, you yeah. gotta come out. You gotta come out. Really? Yeah. And then uh, so his gonna, logo. His logo was a bottle of Jack. Oh, I are they that. local bands? Sounds fun. Yes, local bands. Like a lot from Staten Island. All from Staten Island. Bands from Staten and Island. that for this event in particular, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get all everyone that's local to come out, have a good time, yeah, spread the vibes. So how did you get the uh, permit for that, or did they, they? So I went through the parks department. I went through. The, listen, yeah, this, that's this hard, is right? this is this is one of the that's most hard. <laughs> most yeah. intense parts is is getting the permits, the certifications, any licensing, and it's all in the, in the dark. You don't see me doing this. You just see the smile on my face when I wake up every day, but uh. That was it. Put me through through a lot of stress, and uh, New York, the Parks Department. So you already got the permits. I got most of them. Yeah, actually, almost every single one. And then we just got to get like certain things, like the sound permits, and it's all last minute stuff yeah. that that they tell you to wait on. This go, this is gonna be at night. At no, night, no, it's gonna it, yeah. Or? So it's gonna go from, com, com, uh, the competitive registration starts at nine, and then the non-competitive just pull up, park your car, open your hood, general admission. All starts at twelve. That's when we're gonna kickstart the whole event, and uh, girls will be pumping. Come get your food. Music will be playing. Giveaways will be started. So show up, show up early so you can get some free stuff, some free cool stuff, free food from different restaurants all over Staten Island. Wow, that's great. We'll be throwing out these all day long. Some T-shirts, Rare Breed Legacies, established yeah. in two thousand seventeen. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. I heard there's gonna be food going all day long. All day long, from from uh, twelve from about eleven thirty for the for the competitive guys that you know right. they, they get in and when they're hungry we'll get those guys food right away, and then it's gonna be going until about six o'clock at night. We're gonna be so. Do you have like uh, how do you have people like uh, police officers there or do you have? Yeah, so we'll have police gonna... coming out, fire department, EMTs. Okay, so everyone's all gonna of, be, all yeah. of New York. Uh, and then the, a big thing is. Shout out to the Stephen Seller Foundation because it's the same day. The Tunnel to Towers is the same day. And that's right. also going on in New York City. And then, yeah. uh, so really, that's why, you know, I want to work with them. I want to try to raise money for them because 9-11 was another one. You know, it's another yeah. one that you just can't let go. And uh, so I still want to keep, keep pushing forward to donate towards them and help those guys out and the Marine vets and all the veterans that helped out. Yeah, the better, veterans deserve on the best. Hey, listen. Without without the veterans, we wouldn't. Our country would be nothing today. Nothing. You know. So veterans come out. Veterans, veterans. You're the best. But um, all right. So what do you what do you think? I think it's gonna be a great show out. It's gonna be a fantastic day, especially with the the different variety of music going on. Besides from the live bands that are playing. On the opposite side of the venue, there's also going to be a DJ spinning all day long. Oh, you got a DJ too. We got a DJ, and with the DJ, we're going to do a live rap competition. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so what we do is, you can pre-register now. Flyers are out, you just got to get my contact information, email me, and we'll get you in for the, for the competitive part of that. And there's going to be a cash prize, and we're working on a few extra surprises to throw in there with the, with the winnings. So uh, definitely, if you're into freestyling, rap, rap hip-hop in particular, Definitely come out. This is going to be a, an event for you. Yeah, I think it's going to be great for all different ranges of uh, people of different interests and right. all different age groups. Different. You don't have any do up groups, though, right? You have any do up? No, I don't. You should get a couple of do up groups. It's a good idea. I, I have uh, no, but I'm saying That's there's a couple of DJ people uh, on Facebook. Uh, y your mom knows a couple of them, probably. Uh, Frank, uh, what's his name? Mm. I'll tell you. She knows a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, they. You know, do up groups. They they'd love to come out and sing. You know, definitely. I'm gonna. You know, my mom's been a big help. Yeah, I would. I would. I would recommend getting a couple of do up groups. Definitely. You know? do up. I love you, mom. I'll you, talk to you about this one later. Yeah, but, uh, be covering, it's a good idea. Covering a lot of yeah, you're covering more. You know, so it's not just right. Definitely. See I noticed, like, when you go to weddings today, they go and they play. You know, I mean, a lot of people that get married are younger. So they want to hear the hip hop. Yeah. But what about the older that's, that's, older crowd? See, that's that, where I'm trying to strike this. Yeah. So you want to you want to you want to make everybody too. happy. You don't want to you don't want to leave out any generations and nothing. You know what you're trying to do mm -hmm. here. You know what I mean? You need some good advice. You got to talk to this guy. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm, well, I'm I've been in, I'm I've been, I've been in the entertainment. Go. I've yeah. been in the entertainment business all my life. That's so. True. Some great uh, information we're yeah, but that's definitely uh, a. So how many cars you expect to have? 
I'm expecting anywhere from 300 to 1,000. And uh, motorcycles as well. This is a motorcycle event as well. You motorcycle. You the owners or? Uh, owners of cars that are just yeah. individuals. We what got about uh, Harley down, shops. down 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 basement. I haven't got to Harley yet, but my yeah, schedule's been so busy. Yeah, I do got to get in touch with them. They'll be interested in. I definitely got to get in touch with Harley. You know Harley, Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson. Uh, Harley Davidson Indian. Temperatures uh, are rising. Motorsports temperatures are rising because mm. the event's counting down. It's getting so close, and a you know, of, yeah. a lot of uh, it's amazing. Mustang, Sixty-nine Mustangs out there. Sixteen. We got we got that Mustang was, clubs that was coming my out. First car, red That's Mustang. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. My, my favorite. Two. That was my first. I like car. the Mach One. I'm a Mach One I, fan. I wish I, I kept it. <laughs> wow. Wow. I wish you I had it now. <laughs> they were the It'd worst perfect for this event. Perfect. It was the the first the first now, why would you want party. why would you want a fifty thousand dollar car? car that came out. Wow. I wish I kept it. Wow, that's crazy. But you know man. what it is? Back then? Wow. Back yeah, then you it? can't you can't who tell knew? back then what's who gonna knew? happen now. Who knew it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, you know it. it's just it's who knew? Uh, it the so roads beautiful. were filled with those cars then. Well we gotta thank Brian Lapiola, he's our director out there. Brian does Thanks Brian directs a lot of shows. He's one of the best <sighs> he is the best director. In CTV by far, and he and he doesn't uh, throw any punches. <laughs> he does his job. He throws punches he where, where to Brian Le Pay. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So uh, get back. What were you saying now? Um, oh, the the motorcycles and uh, yeah. So along with the car competitive competition, we're going to be doing motorcycles too. So if you have your custom Harleys, you have your Indians. You have any type of style motorcycle from sport to cruiser, braggers, bring them out. Bring them all out because it's going to be a great time. And even if you're not competitive, just come come hang out. Come pull up because everyone's going to be a friend on this day and there's nothing else about it. Oh, listen, Musto, uh, he, he has a dance that he does. Oh, and maybe no, I'm not doing the dance. Musto, <laughs> Musto's going to be in the middle of the crowd doing this dance no, for everybody. No, he, he, he's, got one, on Musto. he's got one of the most famous dances on... Uh, Staten Island, the freestyle. Yeah, yeah. he does freestyle, freestyle dancing. Dance. Yeah, it's it's really freestyle. unlike anything you ever seen before. Yeah, it's very. You're, you're hearing it from himself right now. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. We yeah. should work on people it. People actually floor. take out their phones and they. There. People take out their so phones. Yeah. They record me. Yeah. You want, should I get? A, I'll get a dance. Know, I'll try to get a dance. When I'm at weddings, restaurants. Everyone's always recording. Restaurants on you. Yeah, clubs. Yeah. No, he saw that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> he, no, Fred saw that a couple of times. Yeah, people actually take out their phones. Yeah, they take out their phones. They start because recording he does like, me. He yeah. does like a, they come a, to a, dance he does a mixture of Michael Jackson, um, Ed Norton. Yeah, freestyle. Um, it's very different. You know, he very, does like a ad libs. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, no. It's definitely it's wow. a rare yeah. breed. I guess rare breed. breed. There you go. That's what it's all about. That's exactly what it is. Everyone. Everyone's a rare breed in their own way. Because I like to be original. Well, whatever I do, whatever I do, I like to be original. Well, today, if you if you if you're different, you are a rare breed. Like if you you know. You know what? If well, you're yeah, waking you're up and you're going yeah. out there and you're doing what you got to do day to day, day you're like rare you. Breed. Nobody else is like you. Exactly. Absolutely. Nobody else is like you. Yeah. Yeah. Not letting anybody else tell you what to do. That's why my name of my show is. It has to be something you like. You know, it has to be. You have to like, like I said before, you have to have a passion for it. Whatever your passion. Well, our sponsors on this show are AJC Advisors. They'll invest your money. Well, can't say that, but AJC Advisors, Oriental Plaza. And diddly diddle, diddle diddle dee, diddle bagel diddle and deli. Yeah. Hey, I know diddle that's dee. A, yeah, it's diddle dee, right? Yeah, right on yeah, they're, they're a yes. fun store to go in. Play the quick draw. Yeah. Start <laughs> gambling. Yeah, yeah start gambling. <laughs> nah, yeah. nah, don't, don't gamble. Don't gamble. No, no gambling. We got to <laughs> gamble on our careers. But anyway, but um, if you're gonna yeah. gamble, take a gamble at something that's gonna be something you love for the rest of your life because yeah. that's the biggest, the, the biggest and best reward right there. Yeah. That's true. And yeah, and true. if you work hard at it, you do achieve it for sure. Absolutely. Guaranteed. Guaranteed to achieve it. Just know, you have to understand that it's a rough ride. As long ride. as you work on it. Ride. You gotta Everything. work on it. You gotta work on it. And if you it's don't, it'll never progress. If you don't, then you finish before, you know. You, you finish can, before yeah, you before even got anywhere further. Oh, you didn't even start, yeah. Couldn't say it any better myself. We're talking start. about um, the rap, my friend Kevin, who, who actually wrote song for 50 Cent, he wrote a song for uh, Soul Child and stuff like that, and he actually didn't get his royalties that he got for, for the rights of his song, 
But that's the way, you know, that's why it's important. That's why I bring, the reason why I'm bringing this up is anybody that does um, have, have a name of something or something, make sure they have it copywritten or published. Yeah. Because there's a lot of <laughs> yeah, you, have you could, you out could there. be the nicest person in the world. There's always someone that's a meat eater, and the second they can catch you slipping, <laughs> they're going, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna benefit for themselves. Yeah, there, there's always people. Well, out there. not everybody, but not everyone. Know. No, not everyone. But well, in the music business, if you do that, that's that's a no no because you you know what I mean. Yeah. You're not supposed to. That's an art. You know what I mean. You can't take somebody else's art. To live with that. No, it's, you know? it's not right. It's not right at all. But, but never replicated either. Well, no, actually, when you you're dealing with somebody that is a writer and then somebody <sighs> isn't a writer, they don't have that same issue. Yeah. You know, because they didn't have, they didn't have to work. There's for no it, way. Or, they didn't build it. They just took it and and you know whatever. But um, yeah. So what else have we got? Uh, From what you've heard about the event, yeah. about the the five different bands, the live DJ. I know you guys suggested a doo-wop group. Is there anything else? Sounds like a lot of fun. Is there anything else you could, you would add to it? Doo-wop. Well, well, if you think There's about. There's be raffle tables and food all day. Hmm. What, what more about, could we do? What about. Comedy um, show. No, no, no. Like comedy. Yeah, but that would be comedy, dangerous. Yeah. But you know, they have the, ki the kids yeah, have the bikes where they jump, jump the ramps comedy. and stuff. Freestyle. Comedy. I mean, uh, Freestyle. bike life. Because I did, in, in Philadelphia, I did a show and they, and they, did, a, uh, they did a freestyle. Type of what thing. do you think? About, what do you think kid? about these kids on uh, now riding the bikes, bike life? Oh, I love it. I don't think you want to. I think they're dangerous. They're reckless, but no, I don't think they know. These got a lot of these kids know what they're doing. See, my worries is though if I did invite the bike life into this event, because yeah. I, I thought about it, I really did think about it. Yeah. But I can't. I can't have the worry of them hitting one of these. Yeah, cars. you gotta watch the kids. Yeah, well, you know, I know they, they get crazy. They no, get it's close. not only that. You know, there's. Um, and then them getting hurt on the property, damaging yeah, the property. Yeah, that would ruin the whole. That would ruin the whole event. That's the thing you got to think about when you're doing an event like this. You got to think of safety too. Absolutely, absolutely. That's the number one concern. You know, it could, it could, but the rain, it could get rained out. Let's see. You could have that if it's a company that, will bring it all on, and they'll, they'll, they'll have their own. Yeah. You know, their whole insurance, their own thing, and they want to do it themselves. You know what I'm saying? As yeah. long as you, as long as it's not gonna um, affect what you're doing, you know. Like it, a, it's it's it's, know. Two, it's two different lives. Like that. a portable half pipe coming on a trailer, and then everyone who's into bikes could be doing tricks on the. Yeah, let's get a let's get a portable half pipe. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Another thing I would I would so, I would suggest. <laughs> no, oh, I'm sorry. No, I was thinking if you could get a big screen TV, like like you know, a video screen, you have act you could actually videotape. Either the event or something on that screen, so people see action all the time. You know what I mean? They see. They see. What do you mean exactly? Like a yeah, at the it, event? Yeah, like a like a big screen. Uh, with just live feed. With a live feed, yeah. Something like that, you know. So there's something always going because on. Because yeah. I know when you feed, go like come to an event, you see that that like excites people. Yeah. Like, wow. They, well, they do that even with bands. Like even yeah. bands today, they have. When they're on stage, they're showing a video in the background while they're playing. It. The reason why they do that, it gives it's more it's more uh, action to the show. Definitely, you know? it's definitely definitely good ideas. You know, stuff we, we love I feeding mean, off this energy of, of spreading ideas. Yeah, well, you, maybe you could get like one of uh, maybe you could get one of the big TV companies to spot to to come and sponsor one of their big sc screen TVs, and then they could talk about their their co you know you know what I mean. Definitely gonna reach out to right those people. You know what I'm saying? What do you think about stuff? that? Well, I think it would be it's also a distraction for something like that. You know it what? It could also be a distraction. You know, distraction? people get glued Everything. to their screen, and you're not getting. Well, you put it in. You're not what, what your what your goal is. You're not accomplishing your goal. That's absolutely true. The, but yeah, the, but you to could the be that extent because you're they're they're you're, they're losing they're, they're losing. Um, mm. They're losing focus, people. You know when they have a screen that they, they, they know, become. I'm glued. thinking. I think people they get glued to the, the TVs screen. anyway. They get, get no, they people. They get glued people, to their the phones, screen. the TVs. It's yeah, like, yeah, they're, they're not much. enjoying what's yeah. around them. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Already, right. Yeah. So yeah. I think it would be a distraction. Yeah. You know, if it was only a concert, yeah. If it was only you have a concert, you have a concert, yeah. Nice to have a screen. 
for yeah, people who are far away from the stage. An event like this, we're trying to get everyone far away from the walking around, stage, seeing what's around. And, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm seeing but these I'm people, seeing you want more to concentrate on your cause, you know, yeah. than, than on what's going on. Than on the, the you got a point. You want to con- yeah, them, to, them to concentrate on the cause more than, than on the entertainment. Entertainment is just to bring people there, you know, you, because you, you want to achieve what you, what you set out to achieve, you know. Right. Just to sell yeah. raffles. They want to raise money. It's not, they don't want to, they, 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 you know, their, their uh, primary concern is not the entertainment aspect of it. It's to raise money, you know. And what about... But the important thing, yeah. again, to do, the important thing for you, to, for you guys to, to make sure you, you, you establish is what cause you raise, are you raising money for? Because like you said oh, before, I got I even, got for the, yeah. even for the uh, 911, they, they recovered since that time. These people make a lot of money. Yeah. I wish I made as much as firemen make and, and my brother's son makes. He makes like two thousand dollars a week. That's a lot of money. Yeah, but they're you risking know? their life. Yeah, more, but it's not so much then. More though. than two thousand so a week. Yeah, them. but why would I want to give them money if because they're making two, three thousand dollars? Because it's a not week. just them though. But you got to see inside the no, department. No, I'm saying you have inside to know. You have These to, guys got to have good, good tools. No, I'm saying, good. but I think it's important for you to know. You know what? I see where you're coming what, from because there what, are people out there what's that what's really more, need the money. Yeah, who needs it? Who needs it the most? Who needs the the money the most? That's definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think there is a lot, a lot of other. There are a lot of other um, groups, you know, that oh, uh, I just that needed more idea. than cops and firemen. That's what I'm saying. I just thought know? of a great idea, talking, going back to um, uh, Robbie Anderson. Meet and greet. They could sign autographs. They could. I can get in touch with him. He's a busy guy, but that's the no, problem. No, but maybe he could help. Maybe he could get in touch with. And people. it's on a Sunday. Right, so that, oh, Easter football. Yeah. Wow. Oh, September 24th, right so what, I'm not even sure what games are going on that weekend. No, they're always yeah. hitting football. Sunday yeah. is it. Sunday, it's Sunday, it's a you mad, know. Uh, time. Oh, what if we had a TV watching the games? <laughs> yeah, right. That, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I might need that myself. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that would be a distraction. Yeah, it would be a distraction. But you might, maybe that is good, because then if they, they'll come down, and even though they, they, they they know there's a game go. They know the giant jet game is on. You know what? I have an idea. How about by where the food's all set up? If we could get a sponsor by a cable company, they set up a tent by the food section and where all the tables are. So when people are hanging out enjoying their food, you right. check out the they game too. Yeah, that is a great idea. Sounds because like I idea noticed me. that. You, I'll tell you the truth. That is a a million percent great idea, because a lot of people. If they're watching again, the they say, "Oh shit, they don't have no TV there. They have no TV." So, whatever. you know what I mean. But if they know the TVs are there, then they say, "Ah, oh, we'll go there. We'll have fun, and then we'll watch the game in between. Then we'll go and have more fun, and we'll watch." Yeah, that is definitely important. Absolutely, this is why I'm trying to be able to attract all different groups of people, and it's not easy. Yeah. You know, I'm. I think of myself. Who do you like out there, everybody? Yeah, Who let do us like know. TV. What do you? <laughs> what would you prefer? Come to the event. Would, then let me know. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, right. Always, always loving everyone's ideas because I, I can feed off this. I can find ways to embed myself and rare breed legacies. Well, say where it is again so they know the event, you know. Father Capadano Boulevard and Lincoln Avenue. Father Staten Capitano. Island, along the boardwalk, beautiful boardwalk. Got the so you're going to have bands, you're going to have doo wop, hopefully. Hopefully, we'll have some doo wop. Well, yeah, you should be able to get a couple of doo wop groups. They're always looking to sing, you know. And yeah. Then they they could sell their T-shirts. Is there whatever. another genre of music we're missing out on here between the doo wops, live bands? Mm-hmm. And I know the bands could cover a whole broad spectrum of. Yeah. But well, you got you got swing bands, but you that <laughs> you'd have to that'd be a different place. That'd be too too much. Ed Norton. Um, yeah. Oh, what about what about? Um, any events for the kids? Like kids. face painting? There you go. Face painting. Thank you. Balloons. Face painting, Clowns. balloons. Balloon animals. Right. Face painting, balloon animals. We're going to have some games there, too. There's going to be a lot of games for the kids. Uh, field games. Field games, yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm definitely trying to have a lot for the kids there, too, because you always got to keep the kids interested, Should especially just, in a scene like why that. Why don't you we get one of, with that. One, of the, one of the party places on, uh, on that big party place? Maybe they'll supply you with the... Uh, 
all the balloons and everything. And we were Definitely. talking about like a tug of war and the, the potato sack jump races. Yeah. Like a water balloon toss. Well, there's going to be this fun game. Everyone gets eggs. And then I'm going to put Paul in this bright pink outfit. <laughs> and everyone chases is, Paul and hits him with eggs. When is this going to take place? So this is September 24th. It's a Sunday. And again, for competitive cars, it starts at 9. And for non-competitive and general admission, it starts at 12. Right. Yep. And what about for um, uh, if it like rains that day? It starts as well. If it rains, there is no rain, rain date. There's no rain so, date. Yeah. We're gonna set so we're gonna work something out. We're, we're, will set, rare breed, will we're not happen. stopping for nothing. The rain's right. not stopping us. A, a catastrophe is gonna rain. stop us. The rare breed are gonna fight to the end to make this happen. Rain or shine, underdog. Is it? What was that? <laughs> I'm thinking of the underdog. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Moose is gonna get me for that one. Moose. Yeah. Maybe Moose will come down. He'll oh, sign. Moose is coming down. He is. Moose is coming down. Get yeah. out. He said he's, he's coming. coming down. I'm gonna make him. Yeah. What you you try to get him away from the TV. <laughs> That's why we're going to bring it you there. You try the to get him away from there. watching football on <laughs> Sunday. That's what like. Are you, what are you going to be raffling? Anything attractive? Yeah, so, oh, we, got, we, got, there you so go. we got some nice uh, baskets. Uh, if you like lobster, lobster trays. Your utensils to create your lobsters. Lobsters? Gift cards. What happened to the um, million dollar man? I mean, uh, what happened to the. <laughs> case of the million dollars that, that, that might be there too I'm just working on getting some more oh money yeah yeah I'm sorry that's <laughs> uh, no, alright so we got uh, we also have if you ride motorcycles state of the art equipment Alpine Star Alpine Star gloves helmets I had the Senna Senna headpiece unfortunately we can't have that no more but it, it's great we're reaching out to everyone we got let's see we got baby clothes baby diapers gift cards for those if, you, if you're having a coming across a pregnancy, listen, this is the event to be at because you're going to get what you need for this. So no event. matter what part of your life no you're at. what part of your life you're in, Rare Breed Legacies, we're all here and we got you. Awesome. Right. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. It's going to be great. It's only the beginning, too. And this is a learning, learning process for me, huge learning process for me. And uh, every day I'm learning. And I love to learn. It, it's, this has been the most knowledgeable part of my life. Yeah. Coming into this and, and starting this, I've met a lot of people. M making yeah. a lot of friends and uh yeah you know there's so, only so much more to come yeah it's all, you said there's going to be a competitive a competition for the cars is there going to be a competitive competition for the bikes as well yes 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 there is going to be competitive um baggers custom harleys uh custom sport bikes if you have stunt bikes that are custom stunt bikes we're going to be judging those too so anyone that's that's feeling to come out for a good time with their bikes their cars what about if you have a moped if you have a moped, you definitely let's do it. <laughs> I've seen some really cool mopeds. Do you know actually. the name of those bikes that yeah. you're liking? The um, mopeds. Unfortunately not. They were just these mini bikes. I, I call them. I looked them up, <laughs> Googled them as California Cruisers. They're just completely modified. These little mini bikes, chrome. Just crazy. Absolutely nonsense with the, the amount of custom work put into these little mini bikes that I see kids riding around yeah. nowadays. I've only seen three of them on that, the there's a There's a the car that they have out now, that Indian <clears throat> Indian bikes with the, with the three wheelers. All the, the trikes. The tri oh, the slingshots. 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 Yeah. Bring your slingshots. Awesome. Why, why don't you, did you go down to Listen, in all honesty. I mean, they, they look like they, they need promotion. I'm not even into those. I, 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 those are so new that I I, I'm not I even, know. I'm not even in They're the, going to be out there. But you know, you know what? what? Some, no, well, I, I go to Crunch Gym and, and I see them all the time and say, like, The wow. Polaris slingshot. Some, yeah. na some days you want to get into them and just try oh, to get yeah, out. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they're fast. Me. They're fast. Yeah? And I, I'm not sure if they have automatic, but I know I've seen the manual. I mean, it's kind of scary to drive them around on Staten Island. Just one wheel in the back. Yeah, drive, and the potholes. Why, if it hits a pothole, it's... Fly. Oh, you had a pothole in your car. You're gonna go need need yeah. a new bull joint. You know? Yeah, but uh, maybe they they're springy. They bounce. Listen, they might be. They have to be built for the sand and stuff. No, those bikes. I don't know if they go off road. Yeah, so we don't know about that. Something that def definitely talk to people. But about I, I would I think that would be a cool thing big. to display. And I wish we could bring out dirt bikes and quads, but yeah, listen, that's the outlaw life for uh, us yeah. bikers and us bike life people out there, right? Yeah. So all right. So uh, so after. All right. So you're gonna do this event. Um, so post this event, we're gonna be creating an after movie, and you can check us out on Facebook, Reverie Legacies Facebook, Instagram. We're gonna be putting pictures up, the day of the event, after the event, 
So you can check your stuff out there. If you're not, if you didn't come with a car or a vehicle, you can just check, catch yourself out there just on the pages. Because there's gonna be pictures of everything, videos. We're gonna be live feeding. And anyone that's not there, you can check it out so that next time you'll wanna be there. And hopefully you do come. Because it's gonna be something not to miss. Yeah. Sounds good, man. It sounds really good. So I can hope, only hope uh, for the best. Yeah. And I hope it doesn't rain. And um, I think that's a good idea with the showing the, the Jet and Giant game in between. Yeah. But uh, Musta, you got anything? Yeah. <clears throat> no, I'm just saying it's just uh, it's, a, it's a great idea. I mean, it's nice. It's always nice to raise money to uh, to benefit you know the less fortunate yeah, so you know people in need. So who are the people now? Now who's the benefit? To, uh, how, how many? Steven Siller found so there's three, and the third one's not really a specific benefit, but it goes out to all of the people in Texas. Any way that Rare Breed Legacies could help, I'm um, buying water, buying clothes, sending clothes, Rare Breed Legacy shirts. We will be sending to Texas. You know, putting clothes on these people's yeah. back if we have to, whatever it takes. We want to be a helping hand to those out there. So whatever money you make for this event is going to go towards these these yep. benefits, right? Yep. So that's good. That's I'll good. I'll tell you what, I've you invested know, a lot, and I took a hit, but it's all for the best. Like I could say yeah. with a smile, every dollar that I spent is the best money I've ever spent in my life. Right. Right. And yeah. Well, it's amazing. It's good. It's great. Honestly, it makes me feel great. I, yeah. I just, yeah. And if you help somebody, you help you're helping the community too. You know. Yeah, listen, you're coming yeah. out, you're giving yourself a good time, but you're helping others. It's this isn't this isn't just about us. It's about everyone in a whole. And uh, you're coming out, and any dollar that you spend there is going towards something great. So don't don't think about oh, somebody else is just getting this money. No, it's helping. It's helping. Every dollar helps. And uh, to me, it's not about the money. I'm just spreading the love. But. Right. Yeah. The money will help. The money will help somebody. Somebody out there that needs but it. But I definitely think, um, and anybody out there that you know, do op group that wants to perform that day, how could they get in touch with you? Um, um email me, rarebreedlegacies at gmail dot com. I don't want to put my phone number out there, but definitely shoot me an email. And uh, I always check my email at all times of the day, so you can check me out there. If you're interested, why not? You know, we definitely got open slots. We got a couple open slots. Yeah. We could fit some people in there, some groups. Now, uh, and what about, um, oh, so you, you, you've already got sponsors for different businesses on, this, on the island, right? The, the yeah, there, a lot of businesses have donated gift cards and, uh, like I said, volunteer workers, actually. They, they, they found gift cards meaning what? Money? Or? So, uh, like, yeah, Angelina's, you want to go have a dinner with your family? Angelina's gave us a gift card, I want to say it was like $50. That's a nice. That's a nice dinner right there. For yeah, right. Dollars, you know, it's, it's better than and, uh, money. Yeah. Fridays, tons of appetizers. So something like that, you raffle, right? No, we're gonna no. be raffling and giving away. Oh. So Fridays gave us so much, so much uh, appetizer right. gift cards that we want to do like. That's nice. We want to yeah. do something where it's interactive with the people. I think you should keep going on though and getting more and more. Uh, every day I'm trying. Yeah. Yeah. Every day I'm trying, and then. Every day I'm. What is that song? Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. No, yeah. it's every day I'm hustling. Yeah, that's it. Every is day it? I'm hustling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hustling. Wow. Yeah. Hustling. It's funny. That's it's all we could do, really. The day you stop is yeah. the day you drop. But um, you don't have to drop it. Hard work. I'm just trying to think of uh, other ways of um, bringing uh, sponsors in. Sponsors into the to the event it's soon it's soon it's only it's less than four weeks away yeah so but how you, uh, where where do you stand right now like as far as as far as sponsors sponsors and stuff do you, do you have Listen, we can always you? use more because it's always, always it's more, all, but you think you this have whole it, clause you, is is you is, think you could do it right now that's what i'm asking yes yeah yeah okay but coming from where i come from come i've never done this before yeah so it's always to do another more than, another organization the, can yeah. look at me and say they don't really got much to me, it looks like I got a lot yeah. to be able to give out, to, to give for the event. But really, until I'm there into the event, well, you the next see, event, yeah, I can look see. back at this event mm. and say, wow. Well, if you cover a lot, if you cover a lot of the area, like I said, like, you know, get get a couple of do-up groups, so you get a, another group of, of, of 
you know. Yeah. And you want the, the TVs with the couch so you can hang out. You know, TV with the couch with the, with the sports. Yeah, that's so something just we're definitely going to look you into. Know, too. Because, you know, I've been to events before. I'm t- telling you, when it's football season, forget about it. That's and big. you know what? That's no. why I have my own football show. It's, it's the football beginning big. of football season. People so go nuts. They and go it's nuts. When I'm on at, at 7 o'clock on Thursday night, people go nuts. They they watch it because yeah. even if they don't like football, they watch it. But that's beside the point. But what I'm saying is football... This time of the year, you know, coming up, it's like, it's like the biggest thing going. So that's why I'm saying if you could surround something around that <laughs> with football, you know. So for the football fans, it's going to be one of my major duties this week. I got to I gotta do this. Yeah, you know I'm right. It's, right? A, it's a something. I got I to gotta know. I got to see this. Just check out what Moose, uh, he bought up, bought Moose, beat everybody. Moose, he's going to call me later. He's going to say, you know what? Can't make it. It's Sunday. Yeah, right. And I can't let that happen. I can't let that happen. Moose. <laughs> oh, you think? Oh God! You like, better Moose, fly. You're gonna be there because you're yeah. watching the games. You better at fly this event. you down. Yeah, we're flying you out, Moose. Everybody. <laughs> we're flying you down. No, you should let him. You know, listen. If it wasn't no, for no, Moose, no, I would. I wouldn't be here today. Really? Oh yeah, I right. I, honestly, you know, yeah, I wouldn't. You know. Yeah, yeah. So thank you, Moose. Yeah. And thank but, you, Freddie. But yeah, no, no problem. Yeah, no, no, I listen. That's what who do you like TV is all about? Is help. I I love to help people and and get talent on the show. Get people like you that are trying to bring out, you know, things on on the island yeah. and uh, benefits. Nothing better than benefiting, you know, the police, the community, and people that need the money. And I I also want the younger group to really see. I'm young, you know. I'll be yeah. 21. The two days after my event. Oh, you certainly are young. <laughs> Thank when you. When I was young, I never yeah. needed anyone. <laughs> but I, I want the younger group to really Those see. Those days are gone. No, they're not oh, gone. No. Bye, listen, bye listen, look at this guy. He's talking about he's not young. <laughs> but uh, uh, for the younger group, I want you to really, to really take like someone like me and just see it's possible because you see this event. This event is it's going to be large scale, and we're going to have a lot of fun. And anything you envision. Nobody can stop you but you, and if you don't, if you don't take what you want and build it into something bigger, all the doubters and the people that say, "Come on, this is irrealistic," it's irrealistic if you make it irrealistic. Otherwise, keep chasing that dream because it's at the end of the road. You just got to get there. And oh yeah. You gotta. You just gotta work. Well, we just the speed we bumps. just had a movie that came out called uh, Bottom Feeders, and it's about Pete. It's about us making it from the bottom, try, you know, talent trying to come to the top, you know, and working together with nothing, yeah. no money, nothing. I'm money using my own nothing. Savings. If you don't have don't talent, savings. you don't have, pe- you know, working. If everybody ain't working together, what good is money? And can't. to me, it's not even about the money. Like that song, "Money Can't Buy Me Love." No, it can't. It can't. <laughs> right? Money can't buy it can't. Really money can't. can't buy me. That was a great line, right? Oh, yeah. so. It could buy. It could buy things. So, what's your full <laughs> name? <laughs> my name is Paul Josephine. Paul Josephine. Yes. Hey, that's funny. I need Tyler, Tyler, Mo- Tyler Joseph Saracena. Uh, Tyler Joseph well, you know, Saracena. Yeah, yeah, you see? And <laughs> Musto Plinko Vici. And I'm Fred Kasha. Red, that's why we got Red Breed. <laughs> I'm a Red. I think I, that one of the rarest in the room. One of the rarest in the room right here. What's that? Yeah, we're all Red Breeds. Everyone together. You know? But listen, nobody is. Uh, so, yeah, so that's it, right? We got a. Got about listen. five minutes left, and um, well, anybody that man, is out there that's watching this show, get in touch with Tyler. Get in touch with Tyler. At you can have something that I haven't talked about here. If you have an idea, I'm looking at all ideas. I wanna, I wanna get everyone involved. Collaboration. Anyway, collaboration is the best. It's yes. key, and communication is key. So, you got my email, rarebreedlegacies at gmail Let's go get to communicate and talk to me, cause uh, so you're gonna have you're gonna have dance, dance there. You're gonna have people. Dancing. I'll be dancing. I'll be dancing all We're over the place. We're gonna be dancing. We're gonna have rap. We'll, dancing, we'll be dancing together. Do up dancing. We're gonna have. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, if you break dance, freestyle dancing. Oh, why don't listen, you I'm gonna dan- work on getting a dance a, floor. Uh, how about a dance? Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. We're gonna bop top. We have the best best original dancer. All right, I'm listen. Yeah, Staten Island's filled with dancers. There you go. Staten Island is filled with dancers. That'll attract them. Give them like a, uh, a, a a gift certificate. Yeah, you know what? That's another one. All right, so we got the TV for this week, the and we TV. got the dance floor. Dance floor. For the dance competition. And people to love to well. dance. Look at when Musto starts dancing, everybody surrounds him. I'm not even gonna think so, I'm dancing, but I'll be dancing. 
I'll be dancing all over the place just because of my excitement and how happy I'll be to see everyone having a good time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I mean, there's Once so many... Once I see no, this guy dance and I won't be able to help it. Well, dance is a, a language just like music is, you know? So now we got the it's music, true. we got the dance. Um, but uh, like I said, definitely get the doo-wop and your, your sister... Uh, you, your sister... Your, your mom could help you with that, right? She definitely can. And, uh, She's been helping with so much this whole way. Yeah. Listen, people love... love you know, nobody... Uh, well, look at um, back to... Uh, the beach, they, they have entertainment all the time there, and they all come down to the beach. But I'm saying with this, it's a little different because you're going to have the car show there. Yeah. But when you have music and you have dance and you have excitement, people come. It just it spreads know? a vibe that it just... Yeah, but I definitely would have that contest, like the dance. dance I wonder what, we could, what other kind of contest could you have? That's about it. I was just going to ask that, besides cars. No, I'm saying without the cars, what, 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 what other ways could you have... For, could you do uh, have uh, could you have fundraising? What about uh, uh, what about artists like painters? Fun, not not do, not not Local. having cars. Paint? Local yeah. What does car have, cars have to do with fundraising? What would the people? What's the, what's the purpose of the cars for people to see them? Well, for, it's for more the competitive because when you register or? when you register to compete, it's the registration oh, wow. that's a donation. What, what, how do you compete with that? As far as with what the cars? So well, the judging will be off. Oh, exterior, okay. interior. And who judges oh, that? Wow, Detailing paint job. Okay. Uh, best restorations. Overall show, best in show. And how do they? What's the rate? Uh, what's the rating on on the on the cars? Like first, second, third. They actually. Well, win? we're just gonna actually do first and second just, place. They win a just no, there's, yeah, there's gonna be a first, first place and second, and second place. place. Really? And the oh, first wow, place actually is gonna get a certificate. Yeah, because I was wondering what's, yeah, yeah. You know, what's the purpose of you, the cars right. that. Yeah. Um, but oh wow, okay now. I and it's, it works the same way with motorcycles. That's nice, good. It's gonna be fun. That's interesting, yeah. So, uh, yeah, there we go. That's the music so, I like to yeah. hear. We're going, we're, we're going out soon. All right, so it's Rare Breed, everybody, on yes, Staten Island. It's gonna be RBL. right down here. Right down the beach, Midland Beach, right? Midland? Is it Midland or South Midland? It's Father Capitano. Father Capitano, and it's right near the, uh, the paddleboard court there, right? Right. Before? Yes, yes, right next to it. Right, right next to the paddleboard court. Um, can't miss it. Definitely by Lincoln Avenue. Lincoln, Lincoln Avenue. Lincoln Avenue. It's by Lincoln? Yeah, Lincoln Avenue. Right, 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 right. Okay. September 24th. So, come down, everybody, the 24th. September 24th. September 24th. And what time are you going to be there? Oh, I'll be there at 5 in the morning. From No, but how, when does it start really happening with everything? Else? 9 o'clock. 9, 9 o'clock? o'clock. And what we'll is be it? setting up before 9 o'clock. And it goes to when? It goes to it goes till 6 at night. Okay. 6 p.m. So it's a long show. So you can make it at some point in the day. It's Sunday. It's a long show. And uh, we're going to have a great time. Safety day. And it's never going to get boring. From the beginning to the end, we're having a blast. Okay, thank you everybody for watching Who Do You Like TV with Rare Breed. And we'll see you next time, everybody. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day.